It's a disease that's been making headlines across the country, a rare polio like illness that affects your nervous system. And while it mostly affects young children, all three confirmed cases of acute flaccid myelitis or AFM in Montana have been in adults. I had the chance to sit down with a Billings woman who is now fighting to take back her life. Imagine you go to the doctor with what you believe to be a common cold. Fast forward seven months and you're here. Relearning to walk, going through intensive physical therapy for hours every day because your limbs just stopped working and doctors can't tell you why. They say like God only gives you what you can handle. That's for sure. April Martin was admitted to the hospital in early August after what first seemed like a cold or the flu just continued to get worse. After a full night in the ER, April's mom, Tony, went home to get some rest. When she got back the next morning, she was horrified. To me, it looked like she had had a stroke. Um, her head was laying over to the side and she couldn't open her eyes and her speech was slurred. With her speech slurred, she said, what's wrong with my body? And I said, I don't know. And she said, don't leave me, mom. And I said, I'm not going to leave you. April had already been through a lot in her 32 years. She was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of two. She beat cancer at 27. Now she was getting a tracheotomy. She was put on a ventilator and was given a feeding tube to help doctors regulate her blood sugar. But despite numerous tests, doctors were not sure what was happening to April. Why can't they tell me what's wrong? Why can't they have a diagnosis? A disease not seen in Montana since 2015, now believed to be back this time in the south central part of the state. I had not seen the news about this polio-like virus called acute flaccid myelitis. Nationwide health experts are keeping an eye on the polio-like illness that has left dozens sick across the nation. Instantly when I watched that, I knew right then, that's what my daughter has. It's AFM. AFM is a virus-fueled neurological condition. It affects the spinal cord's gray matter and can cause paralysis. But it would be seven long months before that positive diagnosis was made. Doctors are still unsure what exactly causes it. In the last year, there were just over 150 confirmed cases. The chances of getting AFM, just one in one million. It sucks. <laughs> because you're trying to explain to them what it is, and they're like, what? Yeah, they don't know. What is it? It's hard. April was eventually moved out of the hospital to advanced care and finally, at the end of October, to Aspen Meadows Nursing Home. There, she receives around-the-clock care and both physical and occupational therapy. I would say you just started walking, what, in the last month? Yeah. Tony says it's been a long road, but she hopes April's story will help families in the future. Now, the two others diagnosed with AFM in Montana are both in Gallatin County. Kevin Conwell recently stepped down from his position as principal of Bozeman High School due to his own diagnosis.